Stitch Sprouts is proud to present Technique Tuesday, your weekly source of knitting and crochet tips and tricks. This week we'll look at the crochet chain provisional cast on. As you would expect, this cast on begins with a crochet chain. With waist yarn, start with a slip knot on your hook. Wrap and pull through the loop. Each time you pull your wrap through the loop, you are creating one crochet chain stitch. We want to make a few more chain stitches than our cast on calls for. When you have enough stitches, fasten off. Now let's look at the chain. The front looks like a column of smooth knit stitches or a bunch of V's in a line. The back is very different and has bumps, one for each chain stitch. We want to use these bumps to pick up and knit our stitches for our cast on. If we use the front of the chain, this method will not work. To pick up and knit a stitch in each bump, we need to insert our needle into the bump then, using your working yarn, wrap as to knit and draw it back through the bump. Be very careful to get the entire bump and only the bump. You do not want to split the yarn or get any part of the front chain. If you do this, the final stage of the cast on will be more frustrating. Let's pick up and knit 10 stitches. Now we have 10 live stitches on the needle and we can start knitting. I'll speed this part up so you don't have to watch me knit. We use this cast on method to work from both directions of the cast on. We've worked one direction, now let's turn it around and work the other way. Look at your stitches in the chain. You can clearly see each stitch going in the other direction. We want to mount these stitches onto the needle so that we can knit with them in the other direction. Insert your needle under each right leg. This will ensure all the stitches are mounted correctly and not twisted. Notice at the end we have a partial or half stitch. Some patterns will use this as a stitch, in which case you will put it onto your needle, but most patterns do not. This means you will always have one less stitch in this other direction. This is usually corrected on the first row by increasing by one stitch. Now let's unzip our crochet chain. First, unpick the fastened end and slowly pull each chain loose. Each stitch should be secured onto the needle. When you get to that half stitch at the end, pull the yarn through. This simply becomes part of the edge. We now have nine live stitches on the needle ready to begin knitting in the other direction.
Thank you for joining us for this Technique Tuesday. If you have any questions about this video or if you want to suggest other techniques for us to demo, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay up to date with everything Stitch Sprouts.